Morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, US markets for trading session Friday, 31st of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com or download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, going into the uh, Friday session uh, for uh, US markets, you have the uh, Nikkei down quite substantially, down 300 points on the back of stronger inflation numbers by the looks of things also with regards to trump's comments as well on one currency manipulation and two trade deficits so it certainly seems to be going down the trade barrier and trade tariff route okay and therefore punishing those that have a uh, negative or in terms of the us having a negative trade deficit now that certainly doesn't spell well or doesn't bode well for emerging markets especially given the fact that mr trump has said that the chinese meeting next week is going to be very difficult so if you're going to upset China, you're really going to upset world world growth and world trade, which really, given the fact that we're trying to fight deflation, is going to get even worse. Now, oil prices at the moment certainly are into a key resistance. If I just bring up oil prices, again, keep watching oil and copper as well. Uh, you can let's just bring up copper for you folks, okay? So you've had this h &S formation uh, pattern for some time now, okay? Copper certainly putting in a topping tail there, okay? And now looking to potentially reverse on the on the downside, especially given the fact that you had Mr. comments from Mr. Trump that certainly have been very bearish. And as you can see here, this uh, copper uh, certainly holding resistance here, okay? Indicating that it wants to potentially move lower. So uh, this is going to be interesting going forward, okay? Keep an eye on copper. Copper always is uh, doctor. Copper doctor always diagnoses you the in the correct way. So hence the reason why it's called doctor. Okay, so whenever we need a diagnosis or prognosis, we always go to uh, the doctor, and doctor is copper. Okay, so again, uh, into resistance, and therefore, obviously, you have this uh, bearish uh, candle in play now. Okay, therefore, negative miners, commodities are certainly going to come into pressure, so keep an eye on that. Okay, in terms of oil as well, oil is an important play here to bring up oil. Okay, you can see oil certainly is languishing. It's starting to uh, obviously trigger weakness. The uh, four hour chart clearly showing you resistance on the price of oil and therefore looking to potentially move lower now. Uh, you can see that horizontal resistance around that $50 level certainly is very crucial. So keep an eye on that $50 resistance. Okay, looking for risk aversion to uh, to kick in. Okay, All right. In terms of the uh, US markets, again, Mr. Trump's comments also with regards to Mr. Flynn. The political uncertainty there. S and P certainly trading around the 21, 3, 23, 61. Nasdaq around the 54, 20. So you are seeing risk aversion. Now we did have stronger Chinese data out overnight. We did have, we did have the Shanghai higher, but it certainly seems like the Nikkei certainly is dictating and uh, will um, will certainly move markets. Okay. Now let's uh, let's look at the actual technical picture now. Going into the U.S. session. Bear in mind that we do have a barrage of economic data. From the US, we have personal spending, personal consumption, uh, we have personal income, we have um, GDP from Canada as well, uh, Fed Dudley certainly speaking, Chicago PMIs, Mr. Kashgari speaking, uh, Mission Consumer Sentiment, then we have the uh, Baker Hughes rig count, so again, uh, quite a, a significant amount of data, and again, that will dictate the the actual movements in the markets. But the, the, the biggest, uh, obviously, uh, uh, bearish uh, argument really is the uh, the, the actual uh, uh, risk aversion in Japan overnight, which will obviously have consequences. Now, let's just quickly bring up the USDJPY whilst we're here. Okay, let's just bring the USDJPY, USDJPY now on the uh, daily chart. Let's just quickly bring up the daily chart. Okay, so still low lows, low highs. Four hour chart at the moment certainly seems to be languishing here now at this juncture. Okay, at USD JPY, 60 minute chart, uh, again indicating weakness. So, with USD JPY now starting to potentially move lower, you are going to see risk aversion in US equities, and that, that certainly will cause the European markets to, uh, to potentially flush lower as well. So, keep an eye on that. Okay, now let's look at the actual technical picture. Let's start off with the NASDAQ here. The NASDAQ really in the daily chart is probably the most important. Uh, you clearly have double top on the daily. Okay, no real breakdown, breakdown or break higher, should I say. Okay, no significant move higher. And, and you, you are back now, back into that key resistance zone with no real catalyst for the market to propel itself higher. Remember, this uh, candle was really sold on the f lack of the Trump trade failure, given the fact that, uh, and also with regards to Snap as well, Snap coming under pressure as well. So therefore, there's no real catalyst to propel the NASDAQ higher from my understanding and my perspective, okay? 60 minute chart at the moment, again, double top on the NASDAQ, okay? You do have a bearish engulfing candle there. 
uh, we are looking for a potential flush lower if we do flush lower then you are looking at support around the uh, 5390 zone so watch out for 5390 on the downside on the nasdaq okay in terms of the semiconductors let's bring up the semiconductors here bear with me okay we've got semicons okay semiconductors as well always cross reference the nasdaq with the semicons and you can see the semiconductors certainly have this bear flag pattern so bearish engulfing candle market has been consolidating within that ever since okay and therefore you are looking to play the bear flag out so uh, from my understanding and my perspective we need to close this gap here okay you are looking for a flush on the semiconductors and therefore looking for a flush on the nasdaq as well okay so hence the reason why we're seeing weakness okay so again looking for the uh, the actual semicons to to, to a potential move lower looking at the biotechs as well the biotech from my understanding you've got the left shoulder here okay the head has already gone in uh, we're consolidating with this bear flag formation here and we want to flush lower so everything is indicating risk aversion okay from my understanding and my perspective so looking for the markets to flush h and and biotechs bear flag on the semicons double top on the nasdaq with a bear flag i think we all know what's going to happen next okay looking for risk aversion okay now in terms of the um, the actual dow let's look at the dow jones now dow jones let's look, start with the daily chart on the dow uh, lower lows lower highs bears certainly in control on the dow okay can't see any real argument for a bullish move uh, all i can see is lower lows and lower highs okay so bears certainly in control here let's just cross reference that with the dow transports uh, certainly an impressive thrust higher okay how high do we go that's the question previous support equals resistance so watch out for that zone there other than that on the daily chart it's very hard to see any real resistance uh, you do have 200 ma coming up to resistance now you've got gap fill here horizontal resistance in this zone in this zone here so these are the potential zones that we're going to be looking out for okay again like i said you got 200 ma on horizontal resistance here okay now in terms of the uh, s p 500 let's bring up the s p now s p 500 was was slamming into the fib 75 percent resistance okay you are looking for lower lows and lower high okay especially given the fact that mr trump's trade certainly has failed okay uh, and uh, this is, certainly seems to be a lot of infighting within uh, his own party now you can see here uh, latest article donald trump after setbacks tries to go on an offensive uh, president trump beset by an early legislative failure and the continuing clouds of investigation into his presidential campaign tried to get back on the offensive on thursday why would you go on an offensive what an idiot in a morning tweet mr trump threatened to campaign oh um, mr twitter really is like a bullying tactic for this chap uh absolutely imbecile honest um campaign against members of the house freedom caucus a group of conservative republicans whom the president blames obviously he blames somebody he's always blaming someone isn't he except himself blames for killing his effort to overturn former president barack obama's affordable care act in the got bled house okay now the french caucus will uh the fred the freedom caucus will hurt the entire republican agenda if they don't get on the team and fast which obviously has been happening ever since the uh, bearish candle on the nasdaq hours later senior white house officials announced the deputy chief of staff katie welsh would leave the admin to join american first policies an outside group that aims to bolster trump's agenda so that's interesting okay it was abundantly clear that we didn't have air cover when it came to calls coming into lawmakers during the healthcare fight said chief of staff previous for whom miss walsh had worked at the republican national so basically he sent another one of his uh, little uh, cronies out there to uh, to obviously sway uh, the opinion uh, meanwhile during his uh, daily briefing mr trump's press secretary sean spicer invited top market, top lawmakers to the white house to review classified information that he said was relevant to house and senate intelligence panels probes again the russian uh, allegation certainly stands with mr flynn obviously overnight mr flynn offers to testify in exchange for immunity now why would you want to uh, uh, claim immunity prior to these uh, potential uh, testy uh, potentially inter potential interrogation unless you had something obviously to hide so th the whole thing really smells okay it smells bad okay it's, it creates uncertainty on stock markets hate uncertainty and therefore you're looking for risk aversion okay so again looking for the markets to potentially move lower okay right so again s p 500 into that fib 75 percent certainly as hell we're looking to flush lower so the lower high from my perspective certainly is in especially given the fact that the vix is uh, holding double bottom as well let's bring up the vix where aren't thou vix 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 oh here we go okay vix uh, if, uh, if you look at the daily chart certainly vix has held double bottom okay uh, vix double bottom really does it signify a risk aversion and therefore the 
pivot low or the lower high certainly is in from my perspective okay uh, 60 minute chart on the uh, vix you can see here we now we were set to potentially bounce look for 200 ma look for resistance at 14.6 as well that should be interesting okay s p we've we've certainly come to a conclusion certainly is headed lower okay looking for risk aversion now looking at the 60 minute chart you can see previous support equals resistance uh, currently we're trading around the 2362 level uh, on the 60 minute chart in terms of support you have 2352 then you have support here at uh, 2336 so so no real support below i mean this could really really move lower okay 10 minute chart uh, the s p 500 let's just uh, have a look here you have previous sub resistance equal support 2363 once that cracks and you are looking to potentially revisit 2358 2356 and then 2353 now i can't see the market moving lower than 2353 so keep an eye on that i can certainly see 2358 and 2356 potentially being tested but 2358 really is the what is, is a level to watch i think okay 2358 and then again looking at 2356 so it should be interesting see how markets react okay folks i think that's um the summation of the s p let's just cross reference that with the russell as always russell as you can see here diagonal trend line into fib 75 percent therefore russell was certainly a short opportunity or short candidate hence the reason why i was short the s p 500 overnight okay right in terms of i think we've summed everything up now i think by the looks of it okay let's just quickly look at banks because the banks really are the important aspects in the cog or any cog really or even look at apple sorry okay apple chart daily chart certainly at the pivot highs lofty heights there 60 minute chart okay impressive thrust so far it certainly seems to be all apple at the moment you still have that unfilled gap well actually we did actually fill that gap at 136 137 okay so it'll be interesting to see how apple reacts if apple can get flush then we should certainly see a flush in the nasdaq as well so keep an eye on that very impressive thrust high yesterday but again today it's the uh, chinese concerns given the fact that mr prump has said that he would potentially uh, levy uh, trade barriers and tariffs and obviously if he's referring to china as a currency manipulator that certainly is net net negative with china retaliating back so therefore the uh, tech sector certainly will be under pressure okay i think I'll, I'll st this video is long enough now to give you an insight for us indices please please be sure to visit trade singular uh, signals and market updates from the leading providers. Goodbye now.